Welcome back. We are here on Ethereum looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, April 7, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And you're welcome to join a copy of trades over here at Ethereum or follow our full technical analysis over at Patreon. The links are down below. Good luck. You're welcome to join. So uh, let's look at the US dollar index first. And as you can see, we are completely turned around here. So we uh, this was fairly expected. We got way up ahead of ourselves. We're outside, we went way outside of the Bollinger Band here. And usually this snaps towards the middle of the Bollinger Band or even the very bottom of the Bollinger Band uh, when this occurs. But if we look at, look at historical patterns for the last few months or basically a month and a half, this has basically been bouncing off the 20 exponential. And we are right at the 20 exponential at this current stage. So um, at the moment, it is not looking really nice. When you look at the technical indicators, all of them are turning around. We are still in uh, bullish territory in the MACD, but it's crossing the signal line. St Stochastic is bearish, the, the CCI is bearish, and also the RSI is bearish at this point. But the middle of the bullish band is holding. If this breaks, then we could drop all the way down to the 50 moving average at the 91.43. So this has, of course, had major implications for, for currency pairs, uh, commodities, and so on. And usually there's negative correlations between uh, US dollar and uh, commodities and special metals. And so when this drops, then other things usually rally, and we've seen plenty of rallies today. So let's look at the oil market. And as you can see, we did rally up towards the 20 exponential and gave most of those gains back. So this is a horrible sign for this market. It has been really um, choppy, to, to say the least. We have these massive moves to the downside of 9%, rallies of, uh, of give or take 6%, breakdowns of 6%, and so on. It has basically been all over the place. Um, but we have mainly been trading between 62 and the very bottom here of uh, 57 at this current stage, if you look at technical indicators, we MACD is negative territory underneath the signal line, so this is very bearish. So stochastic is uh, flat. The CCI is uh, still at minus 66, so it's fairly bearish at this point, and the RSI is basically flat. But the rejection here at the 20 exponential that could be a massive warning for this market. So if we look, for example, at the Fibonacci retracements and see if we were to completely break down from here and then we could head towards the first Fibonacci retracement at the 55 and then towards 50 and then all the way down to the 200 moving average at the 46. So um, yes, it is to be seen. This is not a good sign when you basically get rejected at the 20 and we have been rejected at the 20 for uh, quite some time now. We will most likely have a uh, crossing of the 20 exponential and the 50 moving average and we haven't had that crossing since all the way back in november when this basically bullish um, run occurred so yes not a good sign for for oil at this current stage however if we manage to break above the 20 exponential then we could head back towards these highs of uh, 65 and 67. so let's look at natural gas So natural gas has completely fallen apart today, but uh, we have yet again tested these uh, lows here of give or take 2.4733. Technical indicators are for natural gas are all turning uh, around and MACD is still a negative authority crossing the signal line, so indicating bearish momentum. Uh, stochastic is bearish, the CCI is bearish and the RSI is bearish. So it's not uh, when you're considering the technical indicators, they are all showing very bearish momentum indeed. So we got, we basically rallied towards the 200 moving average and then got significantly rejected at the 200 moving average. We will most likely have a crossing of the 20 exponential and the 200 moving average. And we have basically not seen that crossing since we have to go all the way back here, basically in August to see that crossing towards the upside. So that is, um, well, that is not something that happens <laughs> not very often. And usually that should be a, a very, uh, bearish indicator indeed. So let's look at the copper. So copper has uh, 
basically found bottom here at the 3.949 and then we rallied towards the top of the Bollinger Band at the 4.153. So at the moment we are still in, we are in red. We did fall towards the middle of the Bollinger Band and then pull back, uh, rallied a little bit, but we're still in red. So we could see this turn around back towards the middle bottom of the Bollinger Band at 3.9. Technion and Gers, they are, well, fairly mixed to be very honest. The MACD is still underneath the signal line, uh, the stochastic is bullish, the CCI is flat, and the RSI is bearish at this current stage. So, so uh, yes, uh, if we manage to take out this um, this range here, which uh, has been really difficult to get through uh, for a very long time now, then we could head towards the top. So a depreciation of US dollar, of course, will basically help here, and also the... The expectation that the world economy is going back to to normal will also um, will also inflate the price of uh, copper. Uh, but uh, if we break down from here, we could head back towards the bottom before rallying. The 50 moving average has offered significant support in the past. So let's look at gold. So gold continues the rally. We have uh, crossed the 20 exponential moving average. The technical indicators are all pointing to higher levels they're all bullish at this point so we will most likely run into resistant uh, right at around here at 1752 and then the 50 moving average at 1764 uh, break below the 20 exponential then we'll probably head towards the bottom again at 1680 uh, so yes a nice uh, rally for, for gold but we're running into territory where we had major problems uh, only a few weeks ago so let's look at silver so silver has also rallied usually it follows uh, gold so at the moment we're rallying up towards the 20 exponential technical indicators are all turning around macd is crossing the signal line indicating the bullish momentum um but uh, we are running into the 20 exponential and last time we tested the 20 exponential we had this massive breakdown from here well it kind of say if gold will fall, then the silver will most likely also fall. And if the US dollar starts to appreciate again, then we may see this basically reverse and go back towards the, to the downside. If that were to the case, then we'll probably find a support at the $24. Break above the 20 exponential could open the door to 50. That's at $26. So let's look at platinum. So platinum has also rallied today and we are getting fairly overstretched here. So we are based at the top of the bullish band and uh, trading at 12, uh, 30, uh, 38. Technical indicators are very bullish for platinum, but at this point, pullbacks towards the middle of the bullish band uh, should be expected at around uh, roughly uh, 11, uh, 89 before heading towards uh, 1300. So let's look at pallium. So Pallium has uh, run into resistance where we basically found resistance in the past. If you look at, uh, for example, here, this has been an area where we have difficulties getting through. We ran into resistance here, also here and here. So we could pull back towards the 20 exponential and then head uh, and then head back towards the very highs here of 2,750. Technical indicators are all fairly flat, but it, yeah, they are bullish but they are becoming flat at this current stage so um, if we manage to break above here then we'll head towards it um, 20 uh, 27 50. Uh, breakdowns from here will most likely find major support at uh, 25 56. so let's look at aluminium so aluminium did gap as i said yesterday uh, we did have this fall here from the last for three consecutive days towards the uh, 20 exponential found support and then we gapped up and then we rallied a little bit so this has basically been all over the place for the last few uh, the last two months uh, gapping up gapping down and so on but the 20 exponential has been holding significantly and the, the top of the bullish band has been basically where this has turned so we are in uptrends, but it is a very, very, very choppy trading. Technical indicators are all turning around for aluminium. So we will most likely head towards the top of the bullish band at the 
77 before heading back towards the 20 exponential moving average. So let's look at nickel. So we finally have some movements in this market and now it looks like we are going to head towards the 50 moving average here at the 17,387. Uh, so yes, we have basically been trading sideways, 200 moving average. We never really got down towards the 200 moving average. And um, so it is massive support. And then we basically broke towards the upside. We're trading way above the... Um, way above the bullish band, uh, the upper part of the bullish band, and also the 20 exponential. But uh, at this current stage, we could have a pullback towards the middle and then head towards the 50 moving average. Technical indicators, they are all uh, turning around. The MACD is still in bearish territory, but uh, we have crossed the signal line and all the other indicators are also pointing to higher levels at this current stage. So let's look at sugar. So sugar has also rallied and uh, well, not really impressive, but uh, we have rallied. So uh, 20 exponential is most likely where we'll find resistant at the 0 0.1537 uh, before we basically continue bringing down. If we manage to break above the uh, 20 exponential, then we could head towards the 50 at 0 0.1609. Uh, but uh, at this current stage, 20 exponential has basically been major resistance. So uh, that is also to be expected at this point. Technicals are all turning around at this current stage, so uh, yes. Um, if we break down from here, then we'll probably head towards the 200 moving average at 0 0.1425. So let's look at cotton. So cotton did rally, but uh, got really rejected at the same level that we have basically been breaking down for the last few days. So give or take uh, 0 0.80 is... Uh, is basically where we topped here. 20 exponential will also offer quite a lot of resistance, but uh, this was not a good uh, sign for cotton. We will most likely drop uh, at this point towards the 200 moving average as we have been rejected at this level this often. Technical indicators are fairly mixed. The CCI is turning around, but it's still in negative territories. RSI is turning around, becoming bullish. Stochastic is bearish, and the RSI and the MACD is also bearish at this current stage. So let's look at Kokoa. So Kokoa has rallied. So after this massive breakdown of the last a few trading a few weeks, we see some life in this market. So it has been rallying and we're heading towards the 20 exponential. We did have the crossing of the 20 and the 200 moving average, which uh, is quite a big deal because we haven't seen that basically all the way back to November has seen this crossing. So we mostly also have a crossing of the 50 and the 200 moving average, which is a golden crossing with the next few trading days. And that will probably send this market even lower. So we are rallying towards the 20 exponential and that will most likely be sold into as they it has been sold into the last few uh, attempts that we have tested it. So technical indicators are all turning around, but uh, uh, due to the fact that we have been massively been all um, selling off in this market, uh, rallies at this point shouldn't be that uh, strange to be balanced. So let's look at wheat. So wheat has rallied towards the 20 exponential and then we got really heavily rejected uh, so it's just more of the same rally towards 20 breakdown rally 20 breakdown and so on at this current stage we could see this drop all the way back towards the bottom of the bullish band at the 597 or even that 200 moving average at 590. taking indicators they are still very bearish so uh, at this point we could see this drop uh, below Break above the 20 exponential could open the door to the 50 at 642. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And you're welcome to copy our trades over here at Etro or follow our full technical analysis over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.